fun, didn't we have fun? We had fun in Lake Como. We went out there, of course, for some kind of future Radio 1 slash news business that we can't go into major detail. News fans all over the world, from news forums to message boards to Twitterers to web designers to anyone who's into news is listening right now, hoping, are you going to play a brand new song and that is not going to happen? Or I'm going give, to give some kind of like 300 word review on the new record and that's not going to happen either. I can't really give you much. All I can tell you is that we've got some great information in the can and we're going to put together and we're going to do something extra specially incredible and awesome around the release of the forthcoming new music album The Resistance so much new stuff you won't even be able to take it all in it's going to be amazing but what I will say is that I went out and I listened to the record in full twice from start to finish in their studio out of Lake Como which is an amazing spot end of and you are going to absolutely love it in my opinion, I think Muse have made their most focused and complete record yet. You know, they've never, ever made an album that hasn't ever, ever lived up to expectations at that point in time. And they are, without a doubt, one of the best bands Britain has ever given the rest of the world. But this time, it just feels like every single component they've been building towards seems to fit naturally and perfectly with one another. And from start to finish, it feels like a journey, like a listen, like you know. As soon as you press play on the first second of it, you won't stop until the end of it. You know there is the three-part symphony, the exogenesis thing. They've already talked about that. That is, without a doubt, the most ambitious and incredible thing, I think, that Matt has ever applied himself along with the band. And it's been fully realized. You can imagine a few nerves amongst people, probably in the band, when they try and take something like that on. Even though they've made album after album of greatness, it's no small feat to step into a studio and try and conduct something of that magnitude. But it finishes the album and is a part of the album so perfectly that at the end of it, you feel absolutely spent but emotional at what you've just listened to. There are huge riffs. Some people on the Twitter have been saying, are there riffs? Is it rocking? Yes, there are massive riffs in there. There are quirky pop songs in there. There's all sorts of wonderment in there. It's absolutely incredible. The new Muse album is called The Resistance. It is some weight, so it seems a little bit kind of torturous for us to tease you with all these pictures from Lake Como so up front. But you're just going to try and have to be patient, sink yourself into the back catalogue, get ready for the arena tour. Many of you listening already have tickets for that, and get ready for the return of your band because it absolutely is going to be well worth the wait. And as far as the information that we give you with regards to the first play of the first single, as soon as we get it, you'll get it. And anything else involving using this radio show on this radio... appeasing some of the people who are just hanging around for anything to do with the new Muse record. There really wasn't that much Twitter abuse either, so thanks for, thanks for the support. There was just a few people out there just venting their frustrations, and I can fully understand that. It's a long wait for it, you know? All I can say is, in my opinion, they've written their best rock song on that record. In my opinion, one of their best pop songs is on that record. There's ambition and drive and all sorts of influence and creative stuff that's on there they've never, ever tried before. And from start to finish, if you're a Muse fan... You're gonna love it.